Hi again, Jay Rubens here. I just wanted to show you guys some of the features, if you will, of the uh, peristaltic brewing pump. So it's basically made of nothing more than a springform cake pan. Uh, it's got a nice five foot long piece of silicone hose, uh, three quarter inch outer diameter, half inch inner diameter, if I recall correctly, that I got from my local homebrew shop. It's got a piece of wood is the central uh, axis here. I'm using some T-nuts to mount a bolt to the wood. And then I've got these four casters that I picked up from uh, Harbor Freight. So the water comes in here, it turns by the, by the drill at the moment, and hopefully I'll get a real motor for it soon. But this is turns, and as it turns, you can see it's squeezing that hose. And as it squeezes, it pushes some water around. So it's called positive displacement pump, doesn't require priming. Um, it can pump, you know, high viscous, flu high viscosity fluids. It can pump uh, basically anything that you need to pump. So if we were pumping wort or something like that, and we were worried that there might be uh, some some remnants of our mash in there, you know, some grains or their troop or something like that, this should be able to pump it with no problem. It shouldn't be bothered by the heat. So it's got high temperature silicone hose. Uh, the caster wheels are rubber, so I'm not how sh sure how uh, well they're going to hang hang out, but there we go. So all, it's, all I've done is I've just mounted the, all that to the base of the spring form pan. So if I wanted to take it apart, I just have to undo the spring form piece. And the pump head, as it were, drops right off, and then the silicone hose can come out. It's zip tied in place at the moment, but uh, otherwise it would come right up. There we go. That's that. So you can see just, I have those screwed into the uh, wood block there, and this piece can spin like that. Uh, that's all there is to it.